Good morning, everybody. It's the first Monday in March. It's March 4th. How y'all doing today? This is Brett, your thankful carnivore. Check me out on Instagram at thankful.carnivore and on Twitter at stickmanbleeding. That's S-T-I-C-K-M-A-N-B-L-E-E-D-I-N. Wow, what a weekend I had. It was such a great time. Enjoyed running around with my carnivorous wife on Saturdays. We did the uh, the weekend resupply, which means we bought a lot of meat. We found bacon on sale. These beautiful, thick, three-pound packages of bacon. All oh, the slices are thick, and when you fry it in the air fryer, oh, it's so good. They were on sale for like three pounds for... I think it was nine ninety something for the package, so we bought a few of those. Of course, got to have my my ninety ten ground beef in the tube from Sam's. Anyway, Saturday evening I had the privilege of being interviewed by Kevin, who runs the Keto Mojo Go Go Group on Facebook. It's for folks following the keto diet. Kevin's a real nice man who has, through following a living a ketogenic diet, he's, uh, excuse me, I have to do something over here on the computer. There we go. Anyway, and he has lost some autoimmune problems by doing so. So kudos to Kevin. It was a really great conversation. I appreciated uh, being on his channel. He's got a YouTube channel also called Keto Mojo Go Go. So check that guy out. It's got some interesting stuff. Him and his wife are trying hard to put good out into the world, just like we all ought to be, about a healthier, better way of living. Low carb, or preferably, in my opinion, zero carb. Because zero carb, you don't, you don't have any toxins coming into your body. Nothing but nutrition. It's my preference. It's what works for me. The rest of the weekend was just really wonderful because I'm not inflamed. I'm not suffering from depression. I don't have any physical ailments that are outstanding that need to be addressed anymore. And I turned 58 in two days on zero medications. My blood pressure is 90 over 60 and my heart rate, standing heart rate is at 50 beats a minute. And no, I'm not a runner. I do some light resistance training, and I walk. Meat heals. Listen, if you've been sick, maybe you're physically, you just haven't felt right, your blood sugar's been off, up and down, up and down, and the more it goes up, the worse you feel. And you've had blood pressure problems for years, and you can't you make dietary changes somewhat, but you, just, you get hungry all the time. And who wants to be hungry all the time? So, you know, the sugar, sugar cravings get you and you're, you're eating things you know you ought not be eating. And you're just not feeling good. And you know that that flab that you've looked down and see shouldn't be there. It's not healthy. Maybe it's time to think differently. Check out MeatHeals.com and read the testimonials of people just like you and me who got sick and tired of being sick and tired and decided to take control of their health by eating meat and drinking water. For me, I lost lifelong depression, anxiety, and insomnia. It's a blessing. I'm telling you folks, it clears your mind. You don't have all that noise. The brain fog goes, bye-bye. Give it a look. Give it a 30-day trial. See how you feel. I mean, what have you got to lose? Think about it. What really do you have to lose? Have yourself a great day. Eat some meat, drink some water, and we'll see you all the next time.